hey, hey. So there was this uh, joke writing contest and I sent in uh, 10 puns to see if any of them would win. Sadly, no pun in 10 did. While we're talking about contests, I have a weekly challenge on my Discord, and I figured it would be a great video to actually do that challenge. You can watch me create the submission for the challenge. I'm actually going to do that with a new model that I've been checking out lately, which is the Illuminati model. So this is going to be a twofer. We're going to check out the Illuminati model, and we're going to see a workflow where I make the submission for the weekly art challenge, which uh, uh, for this week is uh, dystopian. And if you want to take part in this challenge, just hop on Discord and check the challenges channel. So here's Illuminati Diffusion. You can see some example images. And as you can see, most of them are fairly dark. And uh, it's using noise offset, which uh, is a new feature that can keep you know, the, the contrast of the dark or the light inside the image. In, in regular stable diffusion, if you have a light background, it tries to go for a darker foreground and vice versa. And here they have offset that in, well, it's called noise offset. So just download this, put that inside your stable diffusion web UI, models, stable diffusion, drop that right in there. Then you're going to download the textual inversions, uh, which is these three files. And then you're going to put them inside Stable Fusion Web UI embeddings. And the way you load embeddings is you just uh, type their name. So we were going to type Unreal Fixer and N Fixer. And then I'm going to take the prompt that we actually that we saw in, I think it was this image. So you can see all the prompts here and those, all the settings. So I took this prompt. And just remember that this is a 2.1 model, so you can't use control net with this. As of recording this video, maybe you can in a bit. And this is a 768 model. And we're actually going to make this a little higher. So 768, 8, 10, 24. So we have a dystopian theme for this week's challenge. So we left a lot of the prompt, but we changed the moment to a photo of a man and dog in dystopian fallout epic scenery sunset. And then we're going to run a lot of batches. And what I'm doing now is I don't have a specific image in mind that I want to create or a specific composition. I have a specific idea of what I want, but not what it should look like. So I'm just getting a lot of images out to get a feel of what we're doing, and then we're going to improve on them later. And that's a big dog. I think actually, I am going to go back into, I'm going to flip this to a horizontal one instead, because I feel that we want to see more of the scenery, more of the landscape. And I'm not really getting that. And as we're rendering this, you can see that all the images are fairly dark. And that's kind of consistent with this Illuminati model. Everything is dark and gloomy, even though we have some neon signs, rainbows, shiny, reflective, whatever inside of this. So let's see what we have here. We have 10 images and I'm kind of feeling this is kind of cool. We have the man looking back and the dog looking straight at us. And then we have a big neon sign here. So that's nice. Oh, also like this one here. I was going to say I like uh, having the, the water bec because of the reflection. We have water in almost all of them. But for now, I think we're going to try and keep working with this one. And we'll see if it works or if we need to uh, go back and pick something else. I think this vibe is pretty dramatic as well. The dog looking at the man here. Anyway, let's see which one was it. Here. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. We're going to send this to image to image. And then I'm going to use my usual workflow, which is uh, doing this a little bigger. I'm not going to be super consistent with the size here now, or the aspect ratio rather. I'm just going to go up to full HD. I think we're going to do four at a time. No, I think we're actually going to do two at a time, because last time I did this, I had problems with the recording. And then we're going to generate. All right, so it's a little slower than usual because of OBS, but um, I guess that's okay. While that's working, we can check out the current submissions in the challenge right now. So this is my Discord, and uh, 
here are all the dystopian challenge submissions as of right now. I like this one, this is great. And this is nice too, the very last of us. And this is nice as well. This feels um, very, I, I wanna say realistic, but cinematic realistic. It feels like a movie, very nice. Some kind of a night. This is very nice and with the light here as well. He's, he probably used the Illuminati model. They've been playing with it um, for a while now. So let's go back and see what we found here. I think this is kind of cool, but I don't know what's going on here. Kind of turned into a, a jacket and with two dogs in it. Um, here's an extra dog. Oh, and this is all crazy. We have two people inside three heads. And this one's part dog. And two dogs here and one dog here. So while the images are <laughs> cool, they're kind of broken. So we're going to lower the denoising strength here. And we're going to run two new ones. But first, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is OpenCV, the largest computer vision library in the world. Wow. And they have launched a Kickstarter with courses in AI. They have fundamentals of generative AI. They got AI art generation using Dolly. Learn AI generation using Midjourney. Guides in Dream Studio. How to generate infinite images with Stable Diffusion Wave UI. A deep dive into prompt engineering with Stable Diffusion. Controlled editing of images like object removal used in painting. And inserting objects using masks. Examples like paint on an infinite canvas without painting. And virtual trines where you can change the dress, ties, accessories, anything. Even with virtual hairstyles. Create personalized AI generated avatars with Dream Booth. Or you can learn about training textual immersions. Learn how to create animations and videos from images. Prices start from $29 up to their Supermaster Bundle at $9.97. Their Supermaster Bundle includes all the courses OpenCV has ever offered. Click the link in the video description and check out their Kickstarter. I think we probably squished the aspect ratio too much. So we might need to go back and fix that. You can see it already. So I'm going to interrupt this actually. I mean, it worked with the high denoising strength, but if you go back, it's, um, it's squishing it. So what did we have? We had 768, right? 1024, 768, 2048, 1536, right? Maths. This might be a little big for my computer. So I'm going to do one batch for now. Out of memory, too bad. So let's just go up to 1500, 1125, which is the st same aspect ratio that we had before. I think it was four by three. I think we should be able to do two now. And we have success. They're fairly similar, both of them, because we have such a low denoising strength. I'll just pick, uh, I'll just pick this one because we had some more bokeh. And I think this is kind of cool to be honest. All right, cool. Let's send this to him painting and I'm going to try and change the sign here. Now it's going to mess up the water for me, I'm afraid, but uh, it is what it is. So we have neon ad sign. We're going to impaint only masked here. I'm going to up the denoising so we can get some changes into this. And uh, well, let's see what happens. So we have this uh, Sunad Falls here, which I can assume uh, is some kind of advertising for a sports drink or whatever. Now our water here is uh, similar to what it was before. I mean, it's not perfect. You can see that it's not exactly the same um, letters, but uh, we're going to be happy with that for now. We got some more detail in the sign here. And I like that. I think the exit transit here, whatever it says, um, I think we'll keep that for now. And we're going to give some more detail to the face here. So we're in painting that. We're going to remove this. We're going to say man head. And we're going to lower the denoising. Since we just want more detail into this, we have original and we have only masked here. So that will draw just this instead of the whole image, which will give us more detail. So yeah, that's fairly cool. We're going to do the same thing with the dog here. I'm going to take all of this dog. Dog, actually going to remove neon signs. We don't need that here. Now it won't, probably won't put neon signs in, but anyway. 
and up the denoising just a little bit, and now a couple more steps. And don't forget to drag your image to the left side here. I think we, well, we got some of the detail, but we lost the harness here. But I mean, I guess that's fine. It's more of a dystopian dog anyway. However, the purple eyes are kind of weird, but uh, that'll do for now. So we're going to take this and we're going to send it to Photopea just for some finishing touches. And then we're going to have a look at uh, some other stuff in this Illuminati model. You can see behind my face here, or next to my face, it's adjustment layers. And you want the curves. You want to get some dark down here. You want, you can see if you move this up, you get more light. And if you move this down, you get dark. And down to the left, those are your darks. And here are your lights. So see if you raise this, your darks get brighter. So I usually want to get the darker parts just a little darker. I want to raise some of the mid here and some of the mid up here. It all depends on your image. As you can see here, if you move it too much up here, it's graying out the image. So I'm going to keep it where you get a nice contrast down here, but you want this high. So you get, you know, the nice lights. You can see it behind his face and on the background. So before, after, before, after, before, after. Now this is um, a lot of contrast, but I think for this kind of style with the bright lights here, it's fine. Then we're going to add vibrance. We're going to increase this. There we go. Something like that. And then as usual, control shift alt E. Going to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. Not as high as this. 75 at about two pixels. I think actually for this image, it's going to do enough with one pixel. And there we have it. This is going to be our submission for this week's dystopian challenge. And let's go back into stable fusion and see if we can create something else. Go back here and we're going to try with our favorite style, heal is D oil. You can find this in my discord in the resources channel. Let's try and do astronaut flying in a black hole. And we're just going to do a square for now. Ah, 768. 768 to four images. I mean, it's kind of coolish, but um, very far from the Illuminati model in general. But it's a very artistic, illustrative style. I like that actually. Let's go back and check some of the prompts here. Let's try this one. Something I noticed now, the CFG scale is very low in all of these. And they're fairly short prompts. So let's try that. I'm gonna add a glossy rainy RTX Octane Unreal. I'm gonna change this into astronaut on ancient city street. Yeah, I think uh, in regard to prompting, this has been trained in a different kind of way. So look at the prompts that are available for this specific model and use that. I think this is pretty cool. So this is a more of a, was well, not an ancient city, but it's more of an old style city. And it, um, it's like an astronaut just um, traveling through time and popping up here, surprised. Let's put him in uh, astronaut in, in ancient Egypt. Yeah, they're kind of similar, all of them. This kind of turned into a mummified alien or something. Yeah, anyway, so this was a look at the Illuminati model. We did the weekly challenge. And um, we looked at some pictures and uh, prompts. Remember, if you're using this, check the prompts that they're using here. Try with the lower CFG, CFG scale. I didn't do that. And remember to use the negative prompts, the textual inversions, which are the ones here. And remember to compete in the 
the weekly challenge on Discord. As always, have a good one. See ya.